Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. I decided to do a reading for you guys really quick for the week. Let's see what you guys can expect in regards to your finances um, and what messages or advice you are getting for this week. All right. So we're going to begin here with Sagittarius. It is Saggy season. For those of you guys that are Sagittarius, happy, happiest of blessings. I was going to say welcome back. <laughs> happiest of blessings. Happy return of the sun. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays, by the way. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you're wanting to get any type of consultation or spell work, uh, or any of our journals, manifestation journals, or shadow work journal, you can find all of that on the links below. I do want to give you guys a very quick message. Please be careful of the people that you guys follow on social media thinking that it's me. I have a lot of people reaching out to me um, that are paying for consultations or for spell work and that have absolutely nothing to do with me, you guys. All of my links on my social medias are connected to my YouTube channel. That's how you know it's me. If I'm sending you some type of message or you're making a payment through Cash App, PayPal, and it has nothing to do with my name or is not connected to my brand or my business or my YouTube, it's definitely not me. So you guys be careful, please. All right. All right, let's begin here with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Saggies for this week. Let's see what you guys can expect in regards to your finances and career. All right, Sagittarius, you have treasure. This is the card that symbolizes um, having the need to be a little bit more reserved with your finances, okay? Um, they are showing me almost like a inkling of excess. So try the best you can to uh, keep a, you know, keep an eye on that. Don't be taking or spending on things that are unnecessary and don't be taking unnecessary risk when it comes to your finances for this week, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going on here with Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on here in regards to your finances for this week. If you guys like these readings, like share and comment, let me know so I can keep them coming. We have a frame. So there is definitely a, oh, <laughs> it disappeared because of the backdrop. Okay, so this is the card that represents uh, everything to do with steady income. So I feel like there is a shift happening for you Capricorns out there. Uh, you may start to experience more steady income or even a little bit more than you're expected or that you are used to. There are opportunities and career opportunities that are going to start opening up for you guys. There is also some type of energy of accomplishment. So again, I feel like there is definitely an increase in your finances, not just this week, but for the month, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what is going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on in your finances, Aquarius? All right, and we have, what does it say? Book. So this has to do with paperwork. This has to do with really paying attention to detail. If you guys are currently working through some type of contract, some type of deals, make sure that you are pretty much getting your ducks in a row. Don't rush into anything and make sure that everything is in or even paying attention to the fine print, okay? Because they're telling you, be very, uh, try the best you can to be, organized and review any type of contracts, any type of, like I said, any type of deal that whether it's like signing for a contract, whether it's, you know, working contracts in your business or getting uh, loans, anything like that, that has to do with paperwork, just get, make sure uh, that you're reading the fine print and make sure that you, like I said, have your ducks in a row uh, so that you don't miss an opportunity because there is almost like a probability of things slowing down because there was like a missed signature or information that you forgot to give to them. Whatever that situation is, again, pay attention, okay? Be a little bit more 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Be a little bit more attentive to what you're doing and what you're signing as well. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this week. Keep in mind that the energy is fluid. So if you're reading this two weeks after it's been posted, it can still resonate and carry a message for you. All right, Pisces, here we go. Pisces, we have swords. Okay, so this is an indication of conflict. I feel like for some of you guys, you may be feeling a bit, I don't want to say defeated or depleted even, but it's almost like there's some type of frustration. And I feel like it's frustration more so with the people around you. So this could be, as an example, if you're married, it could be that it almost feels like you're the one that's carrying the whole weight when it, when we talk about responsibilities in your finances. Um, try the best you can to litigate that, okay? So what I mean by that is, Try the best you can to express to your partner or to motivate them even, um, because I feel like if you continue, they shall continue relying on you and you're the one that's carrying the weight, basically the weight of the world on your shoulders. That's how it's coming through. So uh, try the best you can to be mindful of that. Um, try the best you can also to not cut any corners. So what I mean by that, if there's an opportunity that comes to you, making easy money, try the best you can to not be so tempted because you may have issues um, or unexpected uh, unexpected issues that come up because you weren't really thinking very much in the future. You're thinking more so in the present. So no cutting corners or doing things that you shouldn't be doing, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Okay, we got a card flying out already. We have watch. It's time to profit divine timing. I feel there's an opportunity that's coming to you, Aries, that is unexpected, okay? So this could be kind of what they're giving me is being at the right time, at the right moment, around the right people. So for some of you guys, doors are opening up and it's almost like you weren't really expecting it, but you're just there at the right timing. So trust in divine timing, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's almost going to feel like a strike of luck. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Taurus, sun, moon, rising Venus, Taurus, sun, moon, rising Venus for this week. Oh, we got a card flying out and we have Foon. Sorry, Foon. I don't know why I said Foon. I meant Moon. <laughs> Foon. For some of you guys, I don't know, Foon may have may have a meaning or something. But anyways, I have the moon card and this is leading funds, unknown source being guided. I feel like there is an area in your life that's being highlighted right now. Uh, the moon is connected to our emotions. So I feel like if there is a decision to be made, lead with your emotions on that decision, because I feel like it's going to pay off for you, Taurus. And what's coming to mind is something that recently happened where you may not even be necessarily the type that likes to buy scratchers or that likes to buy, you know, lotto or whatever. And you happen to go to the store and for some reason you're being drawn to get a scratcher, <laughs> go with that feeling because I feel like it will pay out for some of you guys, for others of you, it's just telling you, listen to your intuition right now. I feel like it's going to help you open doors and make shit happen for you guys. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Gemini, sun, moon, rising Venus, Gemini, sun, moon, rising Venus. All right. Gemini, we have feather. You guys are going into this cycle of abundance and opportunity. Feather is almost like being spiritually guided right now. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there are opportunities that you don't even see there or you don't even see um, that are going to start to come your way or that are going to start to influence the path. I see you guys changing paths and I feel like it's has a lot to do with your destiny right now, Gemini. Um, but they are telling me that in regards to your finances, if you guys have been dealing with difficulty. I feel like there's a wave of abundance that's coming to you. And I feel like it's very, very much uh, deserving. So 
if you're currently struggling or if you're currently going through difficulties, um, that's very passive and you're at the end of that uh, experience, you're about to experience more opportunities and more money coming in, okay? All right, moving on, let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to your finances, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, here we go. We have SEAL. So for some of you guys, there is a business proposal or a opportunity that comes to you guys where you don't really see it as an opportunity. So what's coming to mind is almost like someone coming to you and telling you, hey, Cancer, um, I was thinking uh, because of the holidays or because people are asking for days off, as an example, I need you to cover. And you're covering a higher position or someone that is in a higher position than you. And you may see it as an inconvenience, but what they're really trying to see is if they can rely on you. Maybe the person that you are having to cover is necessarily not doing such a great job and they're starting to look around. So that's what's coming through. It's almost like to you, it may seem as an inconvenience, but it's actually an opportunity that starts to build momentum where you will find yourself at the end or having the upper hand in this situation that is going to bring more money to you. So don't run away from responsibility or don't run away from picking up other people's slack. I feel like it's going to pay out for you guys. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. In regards to your finances, all right, Leo, we have Clover. Mm. For some of you guys, a lucky break. For others of you, a strike of luck or a feeling like in regards to your finances, it starts to pick up momentum. Um, what I'm seeing is or what I'm being shown is the removal of some type of blockage. So you guys are, if you have been going through a bit of a difficult situation with your finances or perhaps money has been tight, that's no longer going to be the case. And for some of you guys, you're feeling extremely lucky. Now, this could be almost like the previous message from the previous uh, sign, feeling a strike of luck or feeling like you're being guided by your intuition. Um, if you, you know, have an inkling of doing something or buying a ticket or a scratcher, or if someone's raffling something in your workplace, and you're usually the type to be like, nah, I, I don't really definitely do it. <laughs> I feel like you guys are definitely going to win. You're going to be feeling lucky, Leo. So definitely go for that. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Virgo. Let's see what's going. Oh, we got cards coming out. Okay. We have gears. So for some of you guys, momentum is picking up in your finances. There is opportunities. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're thinking outside the box. So in the coming this is for the week, right? But in the coming weeks, I feel like you guys are going to be very motivated to either start something or to actually get something off the ground. If you guys have been thinking of starting your own business or trying something out that is very different from what you do or your regular nine to five, now is the time to fully embrace that because I feel like it's going to get a lot of momentum, a lot of traction. You're getting attention, Virgo. So this is definitely a good thing when it comes to business. All right. Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for your finances and career, Libra. All right, and we have Clover, the same card that uh, Leo got, I believe. So what they're showing me here is, again, I feel like you guys are going to start to feel, you know what I heard? I, I was going to say, you guys are going to start to feel very lucky, but I feel like a lot of you Libras are starting or beginning to be more grateful or feel more blessed or count your blessings. Cause that's what I heard. Count your blessings. And I feel like in, in doing so, what you're doing is you are raising this vibration where the more you count your blessings, the more blessed you are, the more you feel like you're grateful, the more things start to happen to you that give you the feeling and satisfaction of being extremely blessed. So it's not just about luck. It's also, I feel like you guys are intentionally making this happen. 
So you'll start to notice that the more gratitude you have, the more blessings start to come your way. Money starts to come in much more easier. Uh, even people, people coming to you, giving you opportunities or putting you on certain things that are going to help you make more money. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the energy that is currently influencing you. And of course, this is something I always say, a grateful heart always continues to reap the benefits of blessings. All right, moving on here. Finally, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with Scorpio's finances, Scorpio, sun, moon, raising Venus in regards to your finances and career. All right, here we go. And we have gears again, um, money flow, hard work. If you've been going through this cycle of putting a lot of effort or working or busting your ass and you feel like people haven't noticed or haven't appreciated that, this, not just this week, I feel like this month is going to really pay off for you. You're getting the attention. I see you guys being celebrated or I see you guys like really being appreciated. And every time I hear appreciation, when it comes to career and finances, it usually indicates uh, jumping to a different timeline where you're making more money or you're getting a higher promotion or you're getting a bigger bonus than you're usually used to or accustomed to. So there is a lot of momentum that is picking up for some of you guys. There is a opportunity that you've been waiting for, you've been wanting or hoping for to get a higher position because this position comes with better rewards or more pay. It's definitely yours, Scorpio. Definitely claim it, accept it, and thrive in that because I see you guys really going up the ladder. So uh, don't get um, demoralized or feel like people are not paying attention. Trust me, they're going to be paying attention. And by the end of this month, I will say the beginning of next year, 2024, people are definitely going to take notice, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did like share, comment, let me know so that I can keep them coming for you guys. I want to wish every one of you guys happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best from my family to yours. We'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.